Welcome to Mathematics with M's Grade 8 lesson on patterns determining the general rule. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. The relationship between consecutive terms need not always be a constant difference or a ratio. For example, in the sequence 3, 4, 6, 9, the rule is add 1, then you add 2, then you add 3, etc., etc. Some patterns have very complicated rules. For example, extend the following number pattern by three terms. 100, 90, 81, 73, 66. So what is the difference between the numbers? 100 to 90, the difference is 10. 90 to 81, the difference is 9. 81 to 73, the difference is 8. So 73 to 66, the difference is 7. So therefore, uh, 66 to the next number, the difference should be 6. Do you agree with me? Right, so the next number will be 6. And then after that, the difference will be 5. And then the difference will be 4. And that is how you can determine the next three numbers. To determine the general rule to describe a pattern, you can describe the rule for a numeric pattern using an equation. Terms are the numbers of combinations of numbers and variables in a pattern. So let's first see how can we use a table to do this. To see the pattern and use it to find the next two terms in a sequence of numbers is good, but we want to do better than that. We want to be able to work out the value of any term in the sequence. Let's look at the following example. Find the 20th term in the sequence, 8, 14, 20, 26. Now let's look at step one. First, organize the number sequence in a table. Note that N stands for the position of the number in the sequence and T stands for the value of the term. So therefore, term one is eight, term two is 14, term three is 20, term four is 26, etc. Step number two, find the constant gap between the terms in the sequence in this case, it is a 6. Each term is 6 more than the previous one. The difference between any term and the term before it is 6. So we say there is a constant difference between the terms. For instance, 14 minus 8 is 6. 20 minus 14 is 6. 26 minus 20 is 6. So the con constant difference is 6. Right, step number 3. Add an extra row to your table and write in the 6 times tables. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Look carefully at every term. The 6 times table and its position. Can you see that the first term is 6 plus 2? The second term is 12 plus 2. The third term is 18 plus 2. Thus, the first term is 1, that is the position, times 6. That is the constant difference, plus 2. The same with term 2. 2 times 6 plus 2. Term 3, 3 times 6 plus 2. So we can pick up the pattern now. So the general rule for finding terms in this sequence is the nth term is then n, which is the position, times 6. That is the constant difference, plus 2. So therefore, the rule or the formula is tn equals to 6n plus 2. Step 4, so to find the 20th term in the sequence, we use the general rule and substitute n equals to 20. So the 20th term is therefore 20 times 6 plus 2, which is 122. Next example, in the numeric pattern 5, 8, 11, 14, the first term is 5 because it is the first number in the sequence. So we write T1 equals to 5. The second term is 8 because it is the second number in the sequence. So we write T2 is 8. We can write these variables in the table then. So term 1 is 5, term 2 8, term 3 11, and term 4 14. The rule that describes the relationship between the numbers in the sequence is 
add 3 to each number to get the next number in the sequence. Yeah, because 8 to minus 5 is 3, 11 minus 8 is 3, 40 minus 11 is 3. So term 1 is therefore 3 times 1 plus 2. Term 2 is 3 times 2 plus 2. Term 3 is 3 times 3 plus 2. Term 4 is 3 times 4 plus 2. So therefore the formula is Tn is then 3n plus 2. Let's look at the next example. Complete by filling in the gaps. Now the pattern is 9, 14, 19, 24. So term 1 is 9, term 2 is 14, term 3 is 19, and term 4 is 24. So the constant difference is therefore 5. So in this pattern, the constant difference, which is 5, we can, we can use the equation to describe the rule as follows. So term 1 is therefore 5 times 1 plus 4 to give me 9. Term 2 is 5 times 2, right? Plus 4 gives you 14. Term 3 is 5 times 3 plus 4, which is 19. And then term 4 is 5 times 4 plus 4, which of course is 24. Notice how the position of the term corresponds to the number in the brackets. Right, so we need to find the nth term, so therefore term 14 will be 5 times uh, 15 plus 4. Right, so do you get the idea? Right, so the nth term of the pattern is therefore Tn equals to 5 times the position of the term, which is 5 times n, where we substitute the term under the number, and the number in the brackets will be n. Let's look at number 4. Study the following example and complete the gap. So we have 2, 6, 12, 20, 30. And the first difference is 6 minus 2 is 4. 12 minus 6 is 6. 20 minus 12 is 8. 30 minus 20 is 10. So the rule to use to calculate the rows will be term 4 is then 4 plus 0 times 2. Term 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 4 plus 1 times 2. Term 3, which is 4 plus 2 plus, is then 4 plus 2 times 2. Term 4 is 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is then 4 plus 3 times 2. So therefore, the rule is Tn equals to 2n plus 4. But let's just do a quick recap. So the relationship between consecutive terms need not always to be a constant. A, different, a difference or a ratio. Some patterns have very complicated rules. You can describe the rule for a numeric pattern using an equation or a rule. Terms are the number or combinations of numbers and variables in a pattern. To see the pattern and use it to find the next two terms in a sequence of numbers is good, but we want to do better than that, so we want to be able to work out the value of any term in the sequence. This is Ahmed Suleiman with Mathematics with M's. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.